Hello and welcome to this video about TakeLog software. From a project, select New. You should write the name of the project. I need to write uh, while logging. Then uh, define your country. You can select any country. Also, you can write your description in this box. Then you click next. Now you need to select your project path. But then you click next. This tab is uh, a contain on the database options and the studio you don't need this so we'll click next and then click finish now your project was created just click replace the current to activate your project window now on the top of uh, take log window you can see your project name the first the first step is import data from home click import so now you need uh, three main uh, window in uh, in the workspace. You need project browser. Also, you need properties. Also, you need workspace. Just click on doc window in home button. Click. Doc window from doc window select project browser properties and workspace now to upload your data just to click bro project browser and click on this folder upload your data that you need I need uh, last data this file and then click open now just click on the well click to import it in your project and now you can close this window now just click on the well to display the log in this wall now you need to check uh, our logs uh, and uh, their unit from family and unit in a project browser you can see the unit of each well to edit any unit from this list just click on the on the log and click on properties you can see all information about the log you can select any unit uh, here we select the gamma ray we can see the unit the gamma abr let us display our look go to plot click on logo view here it's uh, the log view window click on the box to maximize the window now we have to plot our log first I will plot caliber log just to display it
you can see the calibre log now. So maximize the check and minimize. Just to click on middle mouse button and move the mouse up and down. I think it's okay. Next, I'm going to plot uh, gamma ray. Gamma ray, caliber log. We can see the baseline. See it uh, to seventy-five. We can move this. Just move to change the baseline according to your requirement. We can delete it, just click yes, and click delete. We need only log curve without the baseline. Also, we can uh, to squeeze the log by uh, click on Control from the keyboard and mouse to scroll. Now you can zoom in and out the uh, log. I think it's Next, I will plot uh, SP log. In the same track with the uh, Calibre and Gamma Ray log. Uh, just now, I need to uh, change the, caliber, uh, the Gamma Ray and SP colors. Click on the uh, here then go to properties display options I need the gamma ray to be 18 okay. then you click OK it's OK gamma ray in between SP or the black or in the second track we will display resistivity logs click on a project browser select resistivity log I need to be in the second track Here we can see the resistivity log. I need to change the color. I will change MSL to be blue. Click on the curve. Go to property, display options, and select.
next it's a group uh, density log with the uh, neutron boost is incorrect now we need to fill the area between two curves in the first over just select density curve and neutron curve with control and keyboard right click select insert area fill between the variables now you can see the first over was filled you can see the change in the color. Also, we have to blot uh, the density. We have to blot the DT or sonic log. Now you can see. Okay, you can see we created uh, our logo view and here we have all parameters gamma ray, calogo, SB, resistivity logs, neutron density log and sonic log. The question now How we can change DT scale? Just a click on the curve, go to properties, to horizontal axis. We have variable and users. When you click on variable, you can see the scale and we can change it by click on the user now you can write lower limit and upper limit we know the sonic log uh, limit from 14 to 140 you can see the scale Like that, I can change any curve scale. Just click on the curve, go to horizontal axis, change the type to user, and write your lower and upper limit. Also, I need to change the scale for Newton and Dynasty. I will click on density log, go to property, horizontal axis, change the variable to user, and write, I will write 1.95 for lower, and 2.595 for upper limit. Also, I need to change neutron porosity scale, change type to user, I will write minus 0.15 for lower limit and 0.45 for For lower limit.
also I need to change msfl log select here go to property limits go to horizontal scale change type to user and write lower limit and other limit uh, lower limit is okay I will change upper limit to Next thing, if you want to change the log curve thickness, you can see the caliber log is too low. I need to, uh, to increase this. Also, there is another option based on baseline. I will select gamma ray curve, click right click, and select. Insert vertical baseline to select the baseline for the gamma ray. Just I need to edit the scale for the gamma ray. Click on the curve, go to properties, horizontal axis, change to user. I need to scale from zero to one hundred and fifty. Okay, now I uh, will edit the baseline to 75. You can change the pattern for the baseline. Click on the baseline here. Go to properties. You can see the type color. You can change color to pattern. Now you can see change to the pattern. Click on the curve. Go to properties to change the pattern. Below 75, I need to select sandstone. So just search for sandstone. And also, I need to change below 75, above 75. Go to right. You can change the color to pattern and change the pattern. Read shell. see now okay. 
will delete now other options click on grammarly here go to variables to lower limit or higher limit from this tab go to valid I need to select this click OK you can see now uh, this uh, option uh, give you the single color so I need to change so what you can do go to palettes I need to change the scale here by programmatic from zero to one and that's it you can see now color change you can see as you can see So, as you can see now, we create our logo view with the main parameters for uh, all logging, gamma ray, caliber, and SP log, uh, resisted P log, and forest log. As you can see, they are all basic for logging uh, data. Now you can add all zonation based on several methods. The first one, go to data, click zone editor, drop your lawyer in this window, and select zonation and write zone's name. I will write zone. One for example, click OK and we'll show you the top and bottom. Write top depth and bottom depth. This will uh, start from okay, I will end two hundred. For example, this one. Then as other zone two, two. and also write the bottom and top and bottom for each zone. Add another zone. And write the name right the top and bottom Add another zone, change the name, click OK, write the top and bottom,
time I think I forget as before This is zone five. Now I get to find it now. Okay, and add drop and button. And now click to this icon, save the donation. Right there, you will edit the name. Mm. Donation. And the click OK. Now just add donation track. So change the position of this track. Just click on the track and it and now we'll click on doc window and select zonation from zonation <coughs> we can activate the zonation that we selected here we can see the zonation that we added can see here we can click on zonation track and go to zonation click to define zone pattern we can select the pattern of edge zone from this list so just i will activate just first zone and go to my zone pattern i will select shale for this zone for example And click OK. Here you can see this zone is shape.
any Zoom. So if uh, you need to change the properties of this track, just click on the track, go to properties, display option. From this, you can change any thing that you need. You can see the designation name if you need it or not. Just to click on display. So the interval also you can add it. The color of I need to be black. Also, you can change the position. The if you be in horizontal or vertical. The orientation of the name of the zone you can change it also you can change the alignment of to left or right the vertical alignment also you can change to left or center or in the right i need to be in the center Also, you can change the shaft based on this number. And you can the top and bottom values for each zone. As you can see here, also we can change the font. You can change the header name or be right you can change the track width and or layout based on this so this the First method to add the zonation. Also, we can add the zonation from quick zonation creation. Just click on it and select the top and bottom of each zone. Also, from this, we can edit the, tip, the depth of the zone. Also, you can edit the zone track. Just to click on the zone. You can edit the zone. Click on it. Here you can see the zone name, the color, and the patron, and the description. From this, you can change any uh, zone name or the description. Also, the patron you can change from it. Here and the color you can you can change it from here and click OK. We'll see everything here. Now we'll go to better physical calculation workflow. The better physical calculation work involve several steps that are performed to analyze and interpretation of, of the well loving data now we'll go to virtual physics click on empty go to pre-computations click to formation temperature For calculate 
the formation temperature, we need the depth data by this segment. So select the wall, and from this, you can select depth, and then go to create. This window is workflow overview. Show you the data that you need to calculate this parameter. So first, you need to drop the wall there and go to the zonation. You need to calculate the formation temperature for all zones. Here you can see the parameter that you need to calculate the formation temperature. For zone, you need all zone, top and bottom depth. The temperature me method, you need top and bottom logging. You need to the top depth and bottom depth. Also, you need top logging temperature. We go to the data that you use and select the top temperature. And go to bottom logging temperature more temperature for this one 196 and the degree is the unit is 300 minutes so now go to display here you can see calculate the Mission temperature as you can see for all zones you can see the depth and formation temperature we can edit the scale can edit the scale just on the curve go to elements go to user and you can see the scale change as you can see so the first step how to calculate formation temperature Here we can see the unit of the formation temperature is uh, Celsius degree. So we can change it, just click on the curve, go to property and unit, change it to degree Fahrenheit, and the same with other track, go to Fahrenheit. So as we can see here, the temperature is Fahrenheit. Now we need to calculate water resistivity. There are several methods to calculate water resistivity. Just go to virtual physics and click on quantity. Select pre-computations. Now you can see several methods that can you use it to calculate water resistivity. In this method, I will calculate water resistivity from temperature and spontaneous potential. As we see, just select the well. And you need to spontaneous potential, temperature, mud filtrate resistivity, and mud temperature. The logs from the database select SB and form and formation temperature that we calculated. And 
pick curate now drop your data sheet from zonation you need to calculate water resistivity for all uh, all zones and from barometer you can add mud filtrate resistivity and mud temperature from this you can see mud filtrate 0.57 at 64 Fahrenheit we just add here and add formation uh, mud temperature and mud temperature unit and now select run here you can see the water resistivity was calculated and also calculate water salinity based on SV and formation temperature you see Now we don't need this, just close the workflow and I need to save this parameter from display just click save and click run. Now you can see RW and salinity. Now we'll calculate the first petrophysical parameter is gel volume go to petrophysics click quantity and go to shale volume from this list there is several method to calculate shale volume a simple method to calculate shale volume from gamma ray so just click on this and click on the data sheet you need to gamma ray click on gr and click create now drop the data sheet here i just need to remove this line For the zonation, we'll calculate shale volume for all the zone as one zone. So I need to add all zonation that we add, we add before to calculate it. So you need to add all zone from zonation. Just select all zone and select this zone and click on this icon to add all zones here we'll see the top and bottom for each zone and go to parameter we'll see gamma ray max and gamma ray shield here this value was detected by default so you can change it by input our uh, by input other uh, parameters also you can edit later we'll see the curve here we'll see the gamma ray method we select gamma ray and we'll, sell, we'll click on this you can see several method to shale 
to calculate shear volume, linear and lever. To read more about this method, just to click on this and click on Help Center. Now you can see all information about shear volume from the gamma ray. You need for input the gamma ray, the unit G API, and the description gamma ray log reading in zone of interest. So for the equation used for calculate the shear volume is showing this. For linear method, the volume of shale is equal to gamma ray index. So for other method, he unequal for the shale volume, unequal gamma ray index. So you need to calculate the gamma ray index first and then shale volume. After that, we'll edit the shale volume. So here we'll see all information about the shale volume or other parameters that you need. And now just we'll close this. And now click on the run. Just let us minimize this. Here you can see the gamma ray was calculated. And here the maximum and minimum value was selected. So I need to edit this value. Just will really close this window. And just to click on simply current layout parameters and run now we can see the shale sand baseline and shale baseline and we can edit for each zone for example we'll change this As we can see, just for example, we'll change just let me minimize the track and change the maximum and minimum value. There you can see. So here we can see we calculate the shale volume from the gamma ray and edit the shale baseline and sand baseline based on the layout parameter. Now I will close this window and click no. Just I will save this from from the display option, select save and click run. Now you can see the shale volume gamma ray on your data set. Now you can close this window and click now. The other method to calculate shale volume, go to 20. 
and show volume go to combine it method click on shell volume now you can see several methods to calculate shell volume just click on these and select the data C camera and SV add resistivity add neutron velocity add bullet density add add uh, sonic and click on create now add your data sheet I will delete this line to add the zonation just select and click ok it's done method selection based on gamma ray resistivity neutron density sonic density neutron sonic and spontaneous potential so now we'll click on the run here you can see calculate the shell volume by using several methods as we can see the gamma ray based on sb and the gamma ray uh, shell volume based on sb and gamma ray and from resistivity neutron density and sonic density and neutron sonic so we can see here just to minimize you can see here calculate shell volume by several methods for the whole zone so one don't need this I will close this window and click this also I will click this next step in petrophysical interpretation will calculate porosity go to petrophysics and click quantity go to porosity and saturation and go to porosity and here we'll see several methods to calculate porosity you can calculate total porosity using this method and calculate effective porosity using this method also there's other method to calculate the porosity here I will use the effective porosity so when I calculate the effective porosity we, the tech log will calculate the total porosity and effective porosity so I will use a neutron density for calculate effective porosity and now what you need click on the well database and you need neutron porosity also you need density and shale volume now click create here will drop your database and we'll remove this line for zonation here we see select zonation for all so I need to add our zonation 
just will select all donation and select this zone and click on this here we can see the zone was added so now we'll go to parameters and we'll see this table was input automatically so now we'll click run see just will minimize here we can see the shell volume was calculated and from for this this for this column we can see phi e means effective porosity from nutrient density and t means total porosity from nutrient density and here we can see when uh, the shield volume increase the effective porosity increase and total porosity increase here we can see and here we can see the minimum shield volume so the effective porosity increase so we'll see here If you need any information, you just click on Help Center. Our oh, light nutrient. See. Here we can see the effective porosity from nutrient density. We can see the input for this method and the parameter that you need and the output for this method. All information will be here. Now we'll close this. So here we can see everything about porosity from nutrient density. Now I don't need this, so we'll close it. No. And just we'll save this. We'll click to display to change it to save and click run now we can see the effective and total porosity from a nutrient density in the power well the next method to calculate the porosity from sonic so we'll go to effective porosity and click on sonic for this method you just need delta t and shield volume so we'll click create here we'll drop our well and we'll remove this line then we'll add our zoom And click here, we can see the all zone added. And here we'll see everything about the Sonic method, the parameter that Sonic method needs. And the method here we can see 
the equation used really or other equation that you need now we'll, keep, we'll run on now we'll run this here we can see you can see the sonic total sonic porosity and effective sonic porosity So as we said, when the shale volume high, the effective porosity will be low. You can see from this. You can select the method that you need. And now just will close this and we'll save this method and click run we'll see sonic effective and total porosity was saved now we'll calculate the final porosity so we'll click porosity and select final so for final porosity, you need to calculate the porosity from effective porosity from sonic and effective porosity from neutron density and click create here drop the wall. Zonation and here you can see the barometer and now run this just will minimize here you can see the effective porosity from sonic and effective porosity from neutron density and you can see the final porosity and we'll compare between them the porosity from sonic and porosity from neutron density as you can see So we'll close this and we'll save this layout and click run. We'll save the Y final. Now we'll go to calculate water saturation. Go to velocity and saturation. Click on saturation. And we see multiple methods to calculate the saturation. So the simple method to calculate saturation by using Arch equation. So we'll use this. For Arch equation, you need to formation resistivity and porosity. So we'll select the word. And for resistivity, I will use final. Porosity that I'm using, and for formation resistivity, I will give resistivity I or V, and also I need formation water resistivity and click create. Now drop the well and this one, and one and one this. Now I need to add one donation. And see, we'll see the parameter. Here we'll see the AM 
and n selected by default so now we'll click run just to we'll minimize this and now you can see the final velocity rw water saturation from rc and you can see bulk volume of water here you can see the evidence of oil in zone 5 also you can see it in zone 6 as you can see here also in zone 7 here the zero means the water saturation is zero and one the water saturation 100 percent and the hydrocarbon will be zero so as you can see to close that and we'll save this and click run now you can see bulk volume water and water saturation you can see and you can close this one too. The final step in petrophysical interpretation is detect the cutoff value. So to do this, go to petrophysics, select quantity, and go to summarize, and select summarize. Here there is some parameter you need to detect it, such as shale volume, porosity, and water saturation. Let us detect this parameter. Select your database, and First, select shale volume. And select porosity, final porosity, I final. And select water saturation. Now, click to now, we'll go to project browser. And drop data seed here. For zonation, select just zone, uh, the reservoir zone. From last, we said zone 5 and 6 and 7 will be as a reservoir zone, we'll, uh, as we said. So here you can see zone. And go to parameter here you need here you need to detect the minimum value and maximum value for each parameter so, uh, shale volume porosity or water saturation here we'll edit the max value to be three higher and from shale volume bounds we'll select the value larger than or equal to the minimum and smaller than the max value and go to porosity the minimum porosity is zero and maximum is zero point one and here we'll select this minimum or value larger than value and larger than max here we'll edit water saturation max to be 0 0.5 and here select yes 
and we'll go to black here you can see if the reservoir rock gives me yellow color here means shield volume head of is yes and porosity water saturation head of there is no evidence for this head of and reservoir there is shield volume there is porosity head of and no water saturation the red for bay zone the bay zone is uh, there is shield head of porosity head of and water saturation here just will uh, detect this and select ok now run this here you can see there is reservoir zone and net bay for zone 5 also in zone 6 there is reservoir zone and net bay zone here you can see the water saturation decrease and oil saturation increase also we can see the shield volume for this zone so our reservoir zone in zone 6 and the thick uh, is high thickness and in zone 5 is small thickness so as we can see here now we'll close this click no and if you need the result go to result md here you can see the result for each zone you can see all parameters that you have average porosity average shear volume average water saturation and so on you can see here if you need this data for your calculation just copy this data and paste it into excel and use it later so now i need to save this and click run we can see the summarize of save it i will close this We hope this video giving you basic understanding of following analysis using TikTok software. Wishing you all the best. Thank you for watching.